Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were 50 minutes late to join the procession ahead of the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral last Friday, it has been claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry joined the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge as nearly 40 royals gathered for the celebration in St. Paul's Cathedral in London. They processed through the nave of the church hand in hand, with Meghan smiling and Harry biting his lip at times. But royal expert Lady Colin Campbell has since claimed the royal couple purposely arrived late. Speaking to GB News, Lady Colin Campbell said, they were supposed to be in the bus with all the third-tier royals. They were 50 minutes late for the appointed meeting with Clarence House to make sure they would miss the bus so they would appear late. The processions are done in order of diminishing or increasing rank. The least important will go first and the most important will go last entering the building and its vice versa leaving the building. They realized they had been lumped with the Never Was Royals, they decided they were going to be late and missed their slot. It was the first time Harry and Meghan had been on full public view alongside the Windsors since they quit the monarchy for a new life in the U.S. two years ago. Crowds cheered the pair as they arrived, with the couple smiling and waving at onlookers. They were sat in the second row from the front, with Harry next to Princess Eugenie's husband Jack Brooksbank and Meghan next to Princess Margaret's daughter Lady Sarah Chatto. Harry and Meghan had to squeeze past his cousins Princess Beatrice and her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, and Eugenie and her husband, who were already seated, to get to their places. Harry was spotted, with his mouth open, appearing to be enjoying a joke with another royal seated across the aisle. Beatrice, sitting a few seats down, was also grinning in the same direction. The Sussexes attended the trooping celebrations at Horse Guards on Thursday but stayed out of the spotlight inside the Duke of Wellington's former office with more than 30 members of the family. More than 2,000 people filled the historic church including Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who was booed by the crowd outside, Cabinet Ministers, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer, First Ministers of the devolved governments, and every living former Prime Minister. Public service is the theme at the heart of the religious event, with 400 people who are recipients of honours, including NHS and key workers who were recognised for their work during the pandemic, invited. Hundreds of people gathered, some wearing union flag hats and others hanging flags and bunting over the railings on the approach to the cathedral. Kate, who was wearing a pale yellow Amelia Wickstead dress and a Philip Tracy hat, walked in the main procession with William, Charles, and Camilla.